Hey everyone and welcome to CounterBuzz. I'm Greg Rosink and I'm here today with Dave Schaub, Product Manager for Controllers here at Hunter Industries. Thanks for joining me today. My pleasure, Greg. Dave, today we're going to talk about this new product, Centralis. And we're going to get into what it is, what it does, and what it works with. But to start us out, what exactly is Centralis? Well, Centralis is a new web application. It's not an app that controls Hunter commercial controllers, including the ACC2 and the ICC2 controller. It lives in the cloud. It accesses controllers all over the world and reports their status and allows user control. Fantastic. And so how do we get connected from the internet to these controls? Glad you asked. Important point. What's new here is the ACC2 connection and we now have a Wi-Fi module, the A2C Wi-Fi, which includes a simple communication module, an antenna, and an antenna holder. And to connect it is very simple. We just look at the back of the face pack, plug in our module, connect an antenna, which is included, routes through the track, and installs down out the bottom of the controller. And that's all there is to it. We will uh, shortly have a LAN Ethernet module and coming soon and uh, a cellular module for LTE. But Wi-Fi is available right now. That is a big piece of information right there. We're going to have three different types of communication. Absolutely. That is huge. So stay tuned for that. Now, the number one request that we get from, control or from customers is the controller when they're on site, they don't normally see if there's an issue until they pull up to the job site. Are they going to get the notifications on their smartphone from the controller letting them know that there's a problem or any type of alert? Absolutely. So one of the main purposes of this is the ability to see all of your controllers at a glance from a mobile, a tablet, or a desktop device. They show you right away if you have an alarm and you can get the alarms. Better yet, they also push SMS text to your phone. So you could be 50 miles away on another project and immediately know if your controller has experienced an issue in the field. Now, going into the uses of the controller and what we can get out of it, a big conversation right now on the chopping block is water conservation. Where do you see Centralis fitting into the, com uh, to the conversation of water conservation? So, Centralis is compatible with our solar sink water saving sensor and also is connected to online weather forecast data that can be used for watering triggers. This is proactive adjustment based on tomorrow's forecast. So first, we're adjusting the application amounts for the ET that we've already experienced and we can cancel irrigation for the following day if temperatures are very low or probability of rainfall is very high. Now, along with that, we've had a lot of success with uh, HydroWise as our water conserving web-based controller. Where do you see Centralis fitting into a market that we've already brought HydroWise into? That's a great question. In, and there's a lot of different ways to look at it. But really, in my opinion, HydroWise is designed primarily for residential applications, but for management by an external professional who maybe has many, many residential customers who want their own access, but they want to allow that professional to do water management for them. And with the HCC controller, we've actually stretched that capability up into commercial type applications. However, Centralis is really designed as a commercial institutional type solution from the beginning. It's designed to work with the ACC2 and the ICC2 for more cost effective applications. And it will expand with that in mind. So a very capable residential collection of applications and an increasingly capable commercial application. So one of the things that I like most about Centralis too is that I have the ability to access all this information from my smartphone with the application, but as well as accessing the, the, the controls that are still in the control face pack. So can yeah. you explain more about what kind of features and, and what kind of access we have through the face pack? Absolutely. So right now we have the ability to adjust irrigation, turn irrigation off, do programmable days off 
Because the ACC2 is a flow monitoring controller, you can also go in and see both real-time flow at each of your flow sensors, plus flow totals by sensor and by controller, by day, week, month, year, and so forth. Remote control. You can use this as your roam remote control with a range of 15,000 miles because if this is connected to the internet, you can reach this controller wherever it is. Over the coming year, you'll see this feature set expand and all those new features are automatically available to existing users as soon as they log into the application. So now we have the best damn commercial controller on a web-based platform. Absolutely. That's what I'm talking about. The greatest thing too is with the ICC2 and the ACC2, we have control of both controllers from one location. Correct. I think that's huge. Well, Dave, thanks for stopping by. Yeah, thanks. It's always a pleasure. And thank you all for stopping by. We'll see you on the next episode of Counterbudge.